Thank you for joining us for our June Spotlight. We are here with Douglas Schofield, Winnemum Wintu tribal member, who's going to talk about the When Nurse Speaks Indigenous Art Show, Photos, Film, supporting the Run for Salmon starting June 2nd, running through July 2nd, here at the uh, Shasta County Arts Council. How's it going, Douglas? It's going good. I'm happy to be here. Hey, can you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Oh, my name is Douglas Schofield. I'm a Winnemum Wintu tribal member. Right now, I'm just a representative for the Run for Salmon. We've been doing this for about eight years and trying to spread awareness for the mission that we've had for our tribal life, which is getting the, our salmon back above the Shasta Dam. When folks come here and they and they check out these exhibits and what you got going on, what kind of stuff are people going to see? So we'll have the opening coming this Friday, June 2nd, and we will have hors d'oeuvres, we'll have different foods, we'll have different crafts going on, we'll have a little bit of salmon artwork and different things for the kids to do. We're going to have the the major piece, which is the artwork from different tribal members and different supporters around the country that sent their artwork in that focuses around the movement of uh, bringing the salmon back above the Shasta Dam. Right on. So if you miss the opening reception for some reason, the artwork will be in there for a solid month. And you said um, these are artists pulled from, from various places? Correct. It'll be, um, of course, our, our tribal members. We have uh, different artists right here in Shasta County. And then we also have tribal members that live throughout the U.S. And then we have supporters that come during the Run for Salmon movements that we do from June to beginning of August. This will be the eighth year. And so throughout the traction, the first year was kind of small. And the second year, it kind of built traction. Third year got a little bigger. So now it's the eighth year. So we got different people coming from a lot of different places. And a lot of those are artists. We got three-dimensional. We got drawings. We got paintings. We got all kinds of different things. Wow. Sounds like one of those things you just got to see it you know come on down and check it out when we're talking about the salmon run what are things that we're keeping in mind are we protecting the salmon are we uplifting the salmon what's what's going on here so we're doing all above so we're trying to protect the salmon we're trying to make the salmon thrive again as uh, anybody in the past has known their older relatives is that our waters used to flourish with salmon before the dams and before the waters kind of uh, took a downfall as in the health of the river systems. And so we want to see salmon come back to the waterways and be able to flourish. And in that, we have to clean the waterways up. We have to bring the health of the water back up. And we believe the salmon kind of help in that. They do their part in cleaning the waterways. And then we have to do our part and get those waterways healthy for those salmon to come back. So we started this run for salmon to be able to spread awareness. A lot of times it's hard to project what you're saying from more of a traditional aspect for us the salmon are part of our life it's part of our culture it's what we eat it's what our people have eaten you know before recorded data and in doing that we're trying to keep that in our culture keep our culture alive and and be able to do our part and uh, help the salmon we believe that we speak for the salmon the salmon gave us a voice when we were created and so it's our part to be able to speak for those salmon now that they need help and so this run for salmon is not necessarily running even though one of the events we do is part of a run so we'll have a canoe from the uh, headwaters all the way down through the shasta lake and then we'll hit the uh, sacramento river and then we have a boating section and then after the boating section we'll have a running section and then we'll have another boating section we'll have a walking section and then we'll do different dances our ceremonial dances throughout the uh process we believe that it's a a ceremonial event through the whole process of trying to keep focus and to be able to do what we can ceremonially spiritually and the modern world we have a lot of different meetings that we talk with a lot of leaders throughout the way and this whole run for salmon is 
like two months long. So there's every day there's something different going on and spreading that awareness. Well, that's a perfect segue because I know we're talking about, hey, come on down and check out this art exhibit. But as much as it seems like an art exhibit, it also seems like a call to action and a call to raising awareness. So for someone listening to this or someone who's interested, um, you come and see the exhibit if you can make it opening night cool or if you can make it and see the art you know for the month that it's here awesome but this run for salmon it's it's about a two-month event so how do folks get involved um beyond just coming here and, and checking out the artwork that you guys are bringing in you know what's the next step you can uh look us up is uh run for salmon.org we got a lot of information on there we have information for schools to get connected we have different little curriculums that kids can follow the run as it's going in, in live time. And so the website, and then there's also a Facebook, Run for Salmon, uh, on uh, Facebook. And then, uh, of course, we want anybody who can show up June 2nd to come and start the run off with us. This, this show hasn't been a part of the run in past years, so it's kind of a new thing that we started out, but really it's kind of starting the run, even though the run don't start for another month or so, but it'll definitely uh, start the awareness off. So anybody that wants to volunteer throughout the process, always looking for more people. You know, this whole mission of bringing the salmon back for us, it's not just for our native people, it's for all people, you know, everybody eats salmon, everybody, some people benefit by uh, making money, you know, selling and different things like that. And all this kind of comes together, you know, for something that Northern California should be flourishing in, you know, salmon runs natural, it'll sustain our economy, it'll sustain our people, it's a healthy living. And so that's what we want everybody to feel a part of this whole mission. But we definitely want to plug uh, June 24th, we're having another gathering here at the Arts Council and we're gonna have film showing. It'll be the past years that we have a couple films showing, One Word, Sawa Mem, and then we have Dancing Salmon Home. And we'll have the chief of our tribe, Callie and Sis, she'll be speaking and she'll be uh, telling our story of our, our tribal history and kind of our creation stories and how this run came about and why we're so involved in it. But the uh, 24th, we'll have food. We'll have different musical performance by Stewie G and Desiree Harp, which I think will be performing also on June 2nd coming up. They will, they'll start it off also. We have activities for the kids and lots of food and we'll have a little arts and craft thing. So we, June 24th from one o'clock to 9 p.m. We definitely invite everybody and anybody to come on down you heard it here june 2nd opening the exhibit kicking things off june 24th film showing lots of opportunities to get involved so come on down to the shasta county arts council 1313 market street and we'll have flyers out and all the things you need to get informed and get connected and work with our friends on the salmon run. Douglas, anything else you want to say before we wrap things up? Nope. I just want to thank you for having us and thank you for letting us uh, share our art and share a message here. You know, downtown Reading hasn't always been real receptive to Native Americans in the past, you know, but through my generation has definitely opened some doors and the doors are open for just uh, awareness. And so we're happy to be right here in downtown, being able to share our art, share a message and, and, uh, you know, talk with you. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. 